Okay, welcome to part two of the Gus Gingerbread Guy tutorial. We're going to see if we can get some colors and textures on this and hopefully make it look somewhat realistic. Maybe a little bit like, uh, oh, I don't know, gingerbread. So I'm going to click up here in the viewport shading and we'll select rendered view. And you can see right away we've got a few problems. First of all, if you look at the texture, it needs to be smooth. We can do that in just a second. But let's get the light out front first of all, our working lamp. And I'll hit the G key. I'll select it by left clicking, hit the G key, move it out front. And uh, let's have a look at front view again. Okay, it's a little bit better. Uh, and to set smooth, we simply right click. Well, let's select the, select the mesh first, right click and go shade smooth. So step one is done. That was easy. Next, what we're going to do is click up in the shading button here. Give that just a second. I'm going to switch to camera view just to bring things in a little bit closer. That's good enough. And I'm going to slide this up maybe just a little bit. So we've got some more working room here and drag that over. So what we'll do, I guess what we could do initially is add a base color and let's just make that try to find kind of a brownish color. Oh, that's not too bad. Actually, it was a little bit lucky. But this doesn't really give us a realistic looking texture. It looks more like plastic and it looks pretty fake. So we're going to try to do a procedural texture that will actually, you know, recreate roughly what we'd expect this thing to look at. So we'll have to add a couple of nodes in here. Uh, let's go to add and let's put a color ramp in here. So that's under converter and then color ramp. And maybe I'll zoom in a bit on this. We'll drag these in. And we'll select our, our colors. So we'll start with this one. And let's make this be the lighter of the two colors. So we're going to try and get that uh, brownish type color again. Good enough. And then we'll select this one. We're going to obviously go a little bit lighter than this. But this will be should be somewhat darker. Okay, maybe like that. Sure. And you can see there's a bit of a difference here between the left side and the right side. Next, in order to, to uh, mix that together, we're going to have to use, uh, or in order to apply that, well, let's just drag that in here to our base color and see how that looks. Give that a second. Okay, not much has happened just yet. But what we'll do is we'll use uh, a noise texture and apply that. So we're going to add texture and noise texture. And then what we'll do is apply the color. And let's see if this does anything at all. Not quite yet, but we're going to bring that scale way up. Ah, now we're starting to see some interesting things happen. I'm just going to set that to, I don't know, 120. Okay, it might be a little bit much. Maybe I'll just leave that at 100. There we go. Uh, next thing we're going to do is, well, let's actually change the detail. Does that matter? Oh, maybe slightly. Yeah, I'll leave it at about 15 or 16. Uh, finally, what we'll do is we'll add a vector. And we're going to make this a bump and drop that right here and what we want to try and do is actually affect the the normals or the 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 vertical displacement or the apparent vertical displacement of that texture so i'll drag this down to height and we'll take our normal over here to normal and give that just a second to catch up hmm oh there there we go we can zoom in a bit on that oh that's not too bad actually our strength is probably a little bit high. Uh, yeah, that's that actually came out pretty good. Uh, let's just drop that down. Maybe we'll go to 0.5 and see how that looks. Yeah, not bad. It looks a little leathery maybe. Let's go 0.2. Okay, we can go a little bit more than that, maybe 0.3. And that I think should pretty much do it for uh, for the for the main texture for Gus the gingerbread guy. All right, that was quick. Over and out.